you so much for checking out the Press Avenue YouTube channel. My name is John, and today we're going to talk about a WordPress tutorial where we will be adding Font Awesome 5 to our WordPress website. We're going to cover two ways to do it. One way will be via a plugin by Font Awesome, which we think is just great, and it makes it very easy to add both the free version and the pro version if you have that. Additionally, we'll show you how to add in some code and talk about what uh, is recommended and not recommended. So check out the full blog post in the description below. If it's helpful in any way, we'd love a thumbs up. And lastly, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. All right, so let's get started. There are two ways to add Font Awesome to your website. So over on the blog post, post you'll see there's Font Awesome by Font Awesome, the plugin, which is the first way we'll do it. And the second way is to add it manually via code. So you can add it via a CDN, which is this one right here. And then you can add it locally, which is you download it and then put it on your own server. But first we're gonna start with the plugin method. So we'll go over to our WordPress install, log in, go to plugins and click add new. Once we're in here over on the right hand side, we're gonna type font awesome. Let it load. There it is. Font Awesome by Font Awesome. At this point in time, it's been out for two months. It's actually a release candidate, um, but we've used it on production sites and it works just fine. So here we go. Here's Font Awesome at the bottom. Then it says adds Font Awesome 5 icons to your website. And then go ahead and click settings. To get to settings in the future, under settings, it just says Font Awesome. So status, green thumbs up, which is a Font Awesome thumbs up. Just shows you where you're at. I've never seen a red one, um, but um, typically it just works out of the gate, which is what we want. There's a bunch of options on here. Typically I just leave it as is, but again, there's the pro. If I click pro here, it turns on the ability to have the other 4,000 icons that I'm missing, um, but I have to allow the domain via their website. Then you can choose backwards compatibility and additional support and then hit save. It's pretty straightforward. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to go to our front end of the site and we have this menu here, home, learn, course, contact. So we're gonna add some icons to that. So I'm gonna go over the top here and I'll do it from the customizer. We'll see it live. And I'll go to menus and I'll go to main menu. All right, so for home, I probably want a house. So I'll come over here to fontawesome.com Again, go to icons. And then on the left hand side, we're gonna click free. And then I can type home, and then it filters these down so I don't have to go through it all. So we got hospital, Phoenix, all sorts of stuff. I'm gonna do this one right here. Font awesome alt. So we got Mario's castle right here. When you click the icon, it brings you to this page and shows you options about the icon. So the icon name is fort-awesome.alt. The one without the alt was this as a square. This shows the exact vector on how this was made. This shows different instances of it. And if you scroll down, it's got more things that you can look at. Um, do you need this stuff? It's up to you, but you can see how it's used. You can make icons spin, you can make them bigger, you can do all sorts of stuff. All right, so what we're gonna do is over this part here, we have I class equals fab underscore FA for awesome alt. So I'm going to click copy. I'm going to go back to my WordPress website. And we have the home, which is just a custom link. Um, so this will be the URL will be your actual URL. But under navigation label, I'm going to paste in that code and hit space. And you see there is the home immediately with the castle. Next, it says learn. So I'll go back to Font Awesome Library. Search. I don't know if learn is an icon. I think edu is an icon. Oh no, here we go. Graduation cap, that works great for me. So again, I just click it. I copy the HTML. I go back to my site. All right, home, learn, paste. All right, so you get the gist of it there, and I'll go ahead and hit publish. And then again, the customizer just shows the same thing on the front end. 
but there we are with our icons, which is fantastic. Um, how to add this manually. So you come back to the post here, and this first um, gist we have at the top uses Mac CDN, and then you see bootstrapcdn.com. So that's publishing it from a CDN, pulls it in very quickly. Um, and the only thing I'll note is the version um, that I have is 5.7.2 in this tutorial. If it's a newer version, for example, 5.7.4 or 5.8, etc., you'd simply just change it in the link here and you have the updated version, which is great. Um, if you use the plugin method, um, it automatically updates it for you. So that might be one more reason to use the plugin um, over just adding it in via code. So version 5.8, um, and then you can select, oh, 5.8, there you go. Save. So now it's using the latest version all the time. Uh, which is fantastic. If you have any questions about adding Font Awesome, using Font Awesome in WordPress, or anything else WordPress related, just let us know. You can join us on our um, Facebook page. It is facebook.com slash press avenue. Additionally, we have a Facebook group, which is just facebook.com slash group slash press avenue. Let's let this load. This is where you can ask questions, get help, post your WordPress site to show it off, and just join the community overall. Again, if you like this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Love to hear comments in the comment section below about if it helped or if it didn't. Show me your website too with the icons on it. Additionally, hit that red subscribe button and you will get sent tips about WordPress and freelancing with WordPress and more. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks again for watching. If this was helpful for any reason, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting us know how it helped or didn't help, and we'll try to answer your question. Right below me, if you click the circle, you'll be subscribed to the channel for more great tips on WordPress, and we have additional playlists over here that are made just for you. Thanks for watching.